Rommel was born in 1891 in Württemberg, Germany. He pursued a teaching career in German military academies, writing a textbook, Infantry Attacks, that was well regarded. In early 1941, Rommel was given control of the troops sent to North Africa where Rommel earned his vaunted reputation, as well as his nickname Desert Fox. Back to Europe Hitler put Rommel back in northern France, to guard against an Allied invasion. D-Day was launched, and Rommel's prediction of disaster for Germany's position played itself out. Rommel ended up in the hospital after his car was attacked by British bombers and he was forced off the road. Meanwhile, details of the failed assassination plot had come to Hitler's attention, including Rommel's contact with the conspirators. As Rommel was convalescing in his home at Hurlingen, two generals visited and offered him his choice trial or suicide. Rommel told his wife and son what had transpired, and that he had chosen to take the cyanide capsules the generals had provided. The German government gave Rommel a state funeral. His death was attributed to war wounds.